Hi, I'm Father Paul Yi, pastor of St. George. I want to share with you a reflection to help all of us enter into Holy Thursday, the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper. At the Last Supper, our Lord demonstrates for us the intimate connection between the Eucharist and a loving service to others. Before sitting down for the Passover meal, in a surprise move, Jesus got down on his knees and washed the feet of his disciples. While he washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus was only too aware of the bickering among his disciples as to who was the greatest and who should rank before the other. The disciples had yet to learn that in the kingdom of God, the leader is one who serves. It is a poignant message for us priests, parents, teachers, employers, and managers. Like Peter, we may not fully understand the meaning behind what Jesus did. Jesus explained to his disciples, Do you realize what I've done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. Jesus, who is our Lord and Master, King of Kings, took off his cloak of royal splendor and became a servant. He washed the feet of those whom he had chosen to continue his redemptive work. He showed them what they were chosen to do. Then he enlisted them to live lives of self-emptying love for the world. To bear the name Christian is to walk in this kind of love in the midst of a broken and wounded world waiting to be reborn. Just as the body of Jesus is broken and given to us at Mass, we are also called to be broken up and given to others. There is something lacking if we are devout in our regular attendance at Mass, but our lives are lived individualistic and selfishly. There is also something lacking if we are totally committed to caring for others, but never gather in community to remember, give thanks, and break the bread together. Eucharist that we receive only becomes real after we leave the church. To live out the Eucharistic celebration means that we are to imitate the humility and love that Jesus has for us as we go about our daily lives. We live in a world which God still loves. He still sends his Son into that world, through the church of which we are members. The world is being recreated anew as he continues his mission through us, the church. <laughs>